This is the story I want to be telling. I want to show up for four days and leave under the influence of a possibilitarian. There's something magical about someone living their life on fire with purpose and how it absolutely is the most attractive and then, if you will, inspiring opportunity to watch everyone raised around you as you are rocking your life. Would you be in that space where you could be the first person who gave yourself permission to be the love center? Wake up under the influence of self-love and self-care and let your genetic expression express something so exquisite, so awake, so alive, so wonderful, you can't take your eyes off yourself. Mindfulness is simply paying attention on purpose without judging or striving. Isn't that simply me and your student? I'm not an expert, I'm a student. I don't have to strive, I have to allow. I don't have to be about willpower. I get to be about willingness. Who here would love to stay awake and not miss the good stuff? And lean into the stuff that's really, really hard so you feel it just long enough so it imprints a memory on your soul so the next times it comes around, you don't miss it. Studies show that people who experience awe some kind of awe, whether it be art, whether it be one of those wonderful sweet hugs that happens with a, with a loved one where you actually just melt, you can't wait, if you will, to carry that energy wherever you go the rest of the day, that's awe. Art is awe. Getting in the gym in the morning, getting on a yoga mat and doing your greatest declaration of self-love and self-care allows that frontal orbital cortex to literally go out there and find your goals. Look for opportunities. It's a physiological experience that's highly spiritual. And it's within us.